Welcome back guys. In today's episode, we are doing an on the water test of the Old Town Big Water 132 PDL. And we're gonna do a little bit of fishing as well. Hopefully, we can hit a trifecta today. Catch some crappie, some bass, and some trout. It's gonna take something real special for that to happen, but that would be super epic if we're able to do it on the first trip on the big water. So stay tuned guys, this is gonna be fun. Bob and Leroy are actually out here with Daniel. So it's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna be alone on my first trip ever here. So I'm pretty stoked, man. It's cool to have good friends like that. <laughs> All right, well, you guys will get there before I do. <laughs> Give me a head start, brother. <laughs> All right, let's do a quick paddability test. And guys, take everything with a grain of salt. It's not like you're watching an expert kayaker or anything. I've been out maybe three times on the ocean on a kayak, actually beach launch, so I guess not entirely a noob, but in terms of compared to some other guys, which yeah, it's not good to compare yourself to a lot of people, but there are plenty of people who go weekly bi-weekly and uh yeah this is kind of a, a learning experience and it seems like every trip is going to be a learning experience but paddle ability as a noob pretty good pretty good maybe you guys can leave some comments and pointers on how to do this but we'll put that away and drop the drive in let's drop this this drive in lock it down oh and then by the way this thing goes in reverse look at this go ahead and go in reverse oh yeah that's pretty cool hmm maybe one of these days we'll do a challenge where I <laughs> troll in reverse see if I can catch anything on the reverse troll that'd be sick what do you guys think we'll do a reverse troll oh I need to put my rudder down uh oh Forgot. There you go. Deploy the rudder. All right, let's go. Sick. So sick. Okay. All right. We're doing it, boys and girls. We're doing it. This kayak actually has a mechanism to where. I can actually lock in the direction that I'm going. So if I wanted to do a slight bend, I can actually lock it in, work hands-free, and that rudder isn't gonna move on me. That'll just keep me going straight. So that's the idea. Start off heading to the direction that I wanna go, trolling, and at that spot is where we caught a bunch of largemouth bass on the last trip, so that's what we're gonna do. I am actually heading into the wind, and it feels like about five mile an hour wind, maybe a little bit less, probably three. Definitely a breeze, creating some chop on the water, but I'm heading straight in, and it doesn't really feel like. I'm getting pushed off track, I just got a hit. Wow, that was a good hit. But yeah, I'm heading into the wind, and it's not bad at all, dang. Maybe I'm just really shallow. I don't have a fish finder on this boat yet. If you guys have any good suggestions for fish finders, definitely leave it in the comments below. I am gonna switch it up. Bob and Armin are on a good bass bite. They just pulled up two right now as I was pulling up. So I'm gonna put this trolling stuff away because I can catch the crappie pretty much all day if you know they're there. I just gotta find them because they bite well into the afternoon. So we're gonna try throwing the jig around, see if we can't get bit. There's one. First fish on the kayak, baby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boom! Ate the jig. 
Guys, this is a momentous occasion. <laughs> Bob just said, get off my spot worm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, first fish on the kayak. Freaking awesome. Awesome. First of many. All right, now we know it's fishy. Let's go. That was the first fish. Woo! Largemouth bass. It's coming full circle. Yeah, man, this channel started as a largemouth bass channel, so it's only fitting. You guys hear those geese? Speaking of geese, the name of this boat is the goose for goose chase. Yes, it's we're gonna take the wild goose chase. Yep, so it's official, guys. Terry the Barefoot Runner on Instagram came up with that name and it is official. Thank you, Terry. This boat is officially the goose. All right, guys, so I fished another, probably what, fished the jig maybe 30 minutes and it definitely wasn't like last we'll week. We, down, we'll get one more fish like you said. We, uh, all right, I'll, I'm gonna go further down and I'll get one more fish. Like we said. I haven't gone past the log. Okay. All right, Bob. All right, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> I was already going to give up bass fishing. There you go. Got one. Finally. That took a little while. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, it's a fatty. Oh, I'm glad I didn't. Oh. That is a fat bass. Whoo. There you go. Oh, that is a good one, guys. <laughs> nice bass. Oh, awesome. Slurped it. She's pregnant too. Look at that. Nice female on the kayak. Freaking sick. There you go. Got him. Ooh, it's a nice one. There it is, guys. Good bass. Another good bass on the jig. Oh, yeah. Number three. Slurped it. Fish number three. Not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. No way. Hear that, guys? It's crappie time. Leroy just called me, and we're gonna get some crappie now. At least I got those two more bass before I quit. Heck yeah. I do have an Apple Watch and it actually calculates how many calories you've burned and I actually haven't burned that many calories compared to like on a treadmill or anything like that <laughs> and I've put in some miles actually well I don't know about miles but I've put in quite a bit of distance so far and I only burnt 303 calories, which isn't really that much. So maybe it's a testament to how little energy it takes to get around on this thing. It doesn't take much at all, which is really great. 
I'll take it. That just means that I can go for a really long time on this thing. And I've been on this boat now about two and a half hours, maybe three hours. So it's definitely comfortable and it's not that much energy to pedal, which is really great. Fish, fish, fish. Yes, fish. Yes. First trolling fish on the old town. Nice. Crappie, crappie. I think it's a crappie. Yep. I need to get my net. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Boom. First crappie, baby. Awesome, guys. First trolling fish on the kayak. <laughs> kind of funny having this big old game clip <laughs> for a crappie. <laughs> but hey, it'll do. It'll do. Fish. Yep. What's up? Yeah. I got a fish. Yeah. Yeah, on the fire tiger. Mr. Crappie. That's the target species right now. Or Mrs. Crappie. She's got a fat belly. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice fish, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Yeah, definitely uh, do yourself a favor and just be careful and use pliers. Treble hooks are sharp. Crappie number two. Well, that's pretty cool. That back deck is actually really easy to access while you're sitting down. That's where I'm keeping my lunch. Oh, bite. There he is. He wanted to have lunch while I had my lunch. That's what was happening. Man, this is dope, guys. It's, it's having all the homies here, the friends, Bob, Daniel, Armin, and Leroy all on the lake at the same time in boats. We're all having a good time catching fish and it's just really cool to have this new experience to be just right on the water on a kayak catching crappie on the troll. It's just been a super enjoyable experience and that's what it's all about guys. Like the gear, it's, it's cool. It, it opens up opportunities to do different types of fishing but at the end of the day it's it's a really really cool experience just to be out here with the guys even if we're not all on the same boat or boats we're still kind of in the same area Bob and Armin are actually cooking on their boat right now and they're making sandwiches it's it's pretty amazing pretty amazing and it also helps that it's a good bite <laughs> even if we don't catch a trout though it was it is a successful trip Super successful.
by any measurement. The fun, the friends, the environment is great. Hmm. I'm so good. It's like butter. Mm -hmm. Well seasoned. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah. Sunblock. Sunblock for sure next time. Today, for the first time taking that kayak out, it was as successful as could be. I know at the beginning of the video I said I wanted to catch a, a trifecta with trout, but we only got two of the three targeted species. The trout evaded us, but it was all together a good time with the boys. Even if they were on separate boats, we were at least all in the same vicinity. And now about the kayak. About the kayak. There were actually some things that were surprising about it. Things that I didn't think that I would use and things that I didn't talk about in the review that I thought were very useful. Like the part under the seat where there's mesh under it and the drainage from the front of the kayak when you start hitting waves and there's these channels that direct the water to the scupper hole that your transducer is supposed to go out of. That was actually super clutch because at the end of the day we, I was fighting wind to get back and there was a bunch of bass boats that were going in front of me and creating waves or wakes and the bow was cutting really well through it but nothing's gonna stop those wakes from getting a little bit overboard but those channels around that front hatch direct all of that water into that scupper which is really nice uh, in terms of stability I think it's just my lack of just being used to just being on a kayak. It's almost like being on a skateboard, right? Like if it's one of your first times on it, it's like kind of, uh, you gotta get your balance and then like you get comfortable with it. So that's the point of this lake trip. There's probably gonna be a couple more lake trips coming just to make sure that this kayak and I kind of become one. <laughs> but yeah, everything performed well, the pedal drive else to say except it was good it was a good day but definitely draining I mean I feel like I put like eight miles on but I mean I pedaled all day all day and I'm not very sore I'm not super sore I don't even feel it yet because it's not the next day so we'll see how that goes but it's all about the muscle memory and then training yourself to do it but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed and that review helped you out if you're interested in getting one or wanted to see some fishing adventures. Dang, dude. Armin. That, oh, it smells amazing. Dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you okay? Shoot. Dude. Look at that. You guys are class A. Armin's doing big things over here. Armin is doing big things. You live once, man. You only live once. <laughs> YOLO. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Dang. New York? Yeah. Mmm. Good? Okay. Good. Oh, you know what you're doing. I was punching it last night. Getting it on Mary. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. As soon as Bob told you? He was fisting me. <laughs> <laughs> was it making sounds like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, try these. All right, should be good. Yeah, bro. And then you said just troll. Like just troll. Two, two miles an hour, all in and out of here. Yeah, you should be good. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, those guys were struggling all day. Uh, from Bakersfield, so that's about an hour and forty-five minutes away, and. Father, son, haven't been here in like nine years. So, hooked them up. Hopefully, they catch something. If you're watching right now, put it in the comments below if you're able to catch stuff on that lure. That'd be sick. We'll pin that comment to the top if you do. Sorry, I didn't catch your guys' names. Oh, fish! 
That was dope. That was right after giving those guys those lures too. Another crappie. Yeah, whenever you have a chance to represent the sport, just do it.